Let's have our lecture video in differential calculus under the topic derivatives exponential functions. Now here are the formulas or patterns that we will use in solving the derivatives of exponential functions. The first one, we have the derivative of a, a constant, raised to the power of u, that is equal to a raised to the power of u, the ln of a, and then the derivative of the power u. Then, we have the derivative of e raised to the power of u. We just copy e raised to the power of u, then the derivative of the power u. Okay, so let's apply those patterns in these examples. Find the derivatives of the following. Number one, find the derivative of y is equal to e raised to negative 3x. Now, the pattern that we will use here is the derivative of e raised to u is equal to e raised to the power of u, then the derivative of u. So, looking at this portion here from our example, then it's obvious that the power negative 3x is the u. So, u is equal to negative 3x. Therefore, the derivative of u is equal to negative 3. So, using the pattern or the formula, we have dy is equal to, we copy the original equation, and then, beside it is the derivative of u, which is the negative 3. So, the final answer here is negative 3, e raised to the power of negative 3x. So, that is for number 1. Now, for number 2, find the derivative of y is equal to x times e raised to negative 2x. Having that, we will be using this pattern. The derivative of e raised to the power of u is equal to e raised to u, then the derivative of u. Then, we will be using also the quotient rule, which is the derivative of u times v is equal to u the derivative of v plus v the derivative of u so let's apply the uh, quotient rule so dy is equal to x and then the derivative of e raised to negative 2x applying this so the e for the answer is e and then the derivative of u so we copy e raised to the power of negative 2x then the derivative of the power of negative 2x that is negative 2 okay then for the second term plus e raised to the power of negative 2x times the derivative of x which is negative or uh, positive 1 so that is equal to negative 2x e raised to the power of negative 2x plus e raised to the power of negative 2x so we can bring our e raised to negative 2x here so the final answer is e raised to negative 2x times negative 2x plus y so that is for number one and number two <clears throat> for number three we have here uh, this should be, uh, this so find the derivative of x is equal to second t or so we here going to use the pattern derivative of e raised to u that is equal to e raised to u then the derivative of the power u then since we have second the derivative of second u is equal to second u tangent u then the derivative of the angle u so it's a recap it's we, we are reviewing the previous topics okay so let's solve the example so looking at this um 
So, looking at this uh, pattern here, so the U here in our example will be second T. Therefore, the derivative of U here is second T tangent T, then the derivative of the angle T, which is 1. Okay? Then, that is equal to second t tangent t for the du. Now, looking at the pattern again. So, derivative of x now is equal to e second t. Then, the derivative which is second t tangent t. So, the final answer is yes. <coughs> so, that is for number 3. For number 4, we have here derivative, find the derivative of y is equal to ln of e raised to 3x plus 2. Okay, so that is the pattern that we will be using <coughs> for the derivative of e raised to u that is equal to e raised to u then the derivative of the power u then for ln we have the derivative of ln u is equal to the derivative of u over the u okay so from our example our u here is e raised to 3x plus 2. Then, derivative of u is equal to, what is the derivative of e raised to 3x? We have that e raised to 3x times the derivative of 3x which is 3 plus derivative of 2 is 0. So 3e raised to 3x. Then using this pattern, ln, so dy now here is equal to the derivative of u which is 3e 3x all over the u which is e raised to 3x plus so, okay, so we cannot uh, simplify further. So, this is now our answer for number 4. So, that is our 3 and 4. <coughs> Next, we have there example number 5. Find the derivative of y is equal to arc tangent e raised to negative 2x. So, the angle of arc tangent here is e raised to the power of negative 2x. So, here is our pattern. For the derivative of e raised to u, we have there e raised to u, then the derivative of the power u. Then for our arc tangent u, we have there the derivative of the angle u, then 1 plus the square of the angle u. So, here we have u is equal to e raised to negative 2x. Derivative of u is equal to e raised to negative 2x times the derivative of negative 2x which is negative 2. So, negative 2e raised to negative 2x. So, that is our du. Then, applying this pattern here dy now is equal to so for the arc tangent so the du here is negative 2e raised to negative 2x over 1 plus the square of the u the u for arc, arc tangent is e raised to negative 2x square so that is equal to negative 2e raised to 2x all over 1 plus e raised to negative 4x. So, that is the 
answer for number 5. So that is our number 5. Next, for number 6. For number 6, what is the derivative of y is equal to e raised to the power of e raised to the power of x? So, seems tricky, but as long as you know the pattern, you can solve this. So, the pattern is <clears throat> the derivative of e raised to u is equal to e raised to u, then the derivative of u. So, let's apply. <clears throat> the u here is e raised to x. So, the derivative of u is e raised to x, then the derivative of x is 1. So, du is e raised to x. <clears throat> so, for dy, dy now is equal to, let's copy this. So, we just copied this portion here. Then, plus, or, um, <clears throat> then, we just multiply with the derivative of u, which is e raised to x. So, using the pattern here, they have the same base, which is base e. So, if x raised to n multiplied with x raised to 1, that is equal to xn plus 1. So, here, they have the same base, so e raised to e raised to x plus x. So that is the answer for number 6.